The Blood Angels are a loyalist chapter of the Adeptus Astartes, and hold the honour of being one of the first founding legions. The Blood Angels have a reputation for being one of the more violent and bloodthirsty Space Marine chapters upon the battlefield, making them a terrifying foe for the enemies of mankind. However, when not performing maintenance rituals upon their war gear, or honing their combat skills in the training cages, the Blood Angels will turn their attentions to various forms of art. These arts can range from carving sculptures from marble, painting on canvas, calligraphy or even writing poetry. The Blood Angels have a high appreciation for art and culture, which stems from their Primarch Sanguinius declaring that all of his gene sons were to live in splendour, as all forms of beauty were precious to the Primarch. Because of this, the chapter even boasts a specialist officer within their ranks, known as the Master of Artistry, to teach the value of art to the chapter's fresh influx of neophytes. The reasoning behind this is to teach these new recruits in addition to the warrior's virtues, a series of traits known as the Angel's Graces. Focus, Humility, Mercy, Restraint, and Forgiveness. In turn, these lessons in channeling their passions and emotions into the art they create will also theoretically help new Battle Brothers to control the two main genetic flaws of their chapter, the Red First and the Black Rage. The Red First is seen as the lesser of these two flaws, though that in itself is a gross understatement. The Thirst, which has existed within the Blood Angel's gene seed since the time of the Great Crusade, instills within those afflicted an intense hunger for blood, which will eventually drive them into a killing frenzy. The Thirst will often manifest itself in times of stress, such as during the swirl of melee combat, and if left unchecked, those who suffer from the Red Thirst can even turn their bloodthirst towards civilian populations. Because of how prevalent this flaw is, the brothers of the chapter will frequently ingest wine laced with small amounts of blood in order to stave off the effects of the thirst. However, those who notice the signs of falling to the thirst can prevent themselves from doing so through sheer force of will by remembering their earlier training of the angel's graces or through some other type of external stimuli and after consuming blood to sate their thirst, those who succumbed to the Red Thirst will often return to lucidity, although this isn't always the case. Many who fall completely to the effects of the Red Thirst become little more than mindless beasts, baying for blood and forced to be locked away within the Tower of Amario upon Baal. The other major flaw of the chapter is known as the Black Rage. Those who succumb to the Black Rage will be bombarded with visions of the final hours of the Horus Heresy, and believe that they are in fact their Primarch Sanguinius fighting against the Arch Traitor, Horus Lupercal. They become unable to distinguish past from present, and in addition to gaining the memories and consciousness of their Primarch, they also become blessed with a minuscule amount of his divine strength, allowing them to tear through their enemies with reckless abandon and shrug off wounds that would normally kill Anastates. Those who succumb to the Black Rage will be formed into specialist assault units. Their armour is painted black and donned with splashes of red to signify the wounds that Sanguinius suffered at his brother's hands. These warriors become henceforth part of the Death Company and will be led into battle by chaplains. The chaplains themselves are the only officers within the chapter who can exhibit any measure of control over those afflicted with the Black Rage. Once a Blood Angel fully succumbs to the Black Rage, they are considered lost to the chapter, destined to die in battle much like their Gene Father himself did. Those who survive the battle will be granted the Emperor's peace by Astarath the Grim, the Redeemer of the Lost. 
but one question that the sanguinary priests of the chapter struggle to find a definitive answer to is can the Black Rage itself truly be cured, or are all Battle Brothers descended from the gene stock of Sanguinius, destined to succumb to it? In nearly all instances of Brothers succumbing to the Black Rage, there has been no recovery. However, there have been two main exceptions to this rule. The first of these is Chaplain Lamartes, the Guardian of the Lost. While Lamartes still suffers from the effects of the Black Rage, he is largely able to maintain control of his faculties through sheer force of will, though he forever teeters on the brink of becoming forever lost to the rage, as the strain becomes ever greater and greater. The only Blood Angel who has apparently cured themselves of the Black Rage was the Librarian, formerly known as Calistarius. Calistarius succumbed to the Black Rage during the Second War for Armageddon, and was inducted into the Death Company before becoming trapped under the rubble of a collapsing building during the Battle of Hades Hive. The Blood Angel teetered upon the brink of death and madness for about a week, before finally bursting free of his rocky tomb, having conquered the Black Rage and having his powers enhanced to a far greater degree becoming reborn as Mephiston, the Lord of Death. Mephiston, who quickly rose through the ranks to become the chapter's chief librarian, has since become a beacon of hope for the Blood Angels, showing that if their will is great enough, then they too can conquer the Black Rage. Though in secret, some whisper that Mephiston resorted to darker means in order to do so. Even Commander Dante, Chapter Master of the Blood Angels has teetered upon the brink of falling to the Black Rage during the devastation of Baal, where he began to notice the initial stages of the floor. However, he still retained enough of his faculties in order to pull himself back from the precipice of damnation. Initially, the best way to prevent further cases of the Black Rage from appearing within the Blood Angels and their successor chapters would potentially be through modifications made to their gene seed. The Blood Angel successor chapter known as the Lamenters were created during the cursed 21st founding, and due to the founding's goal in removing flaws from Astarte's gene seed, managed to initially avoid succumbing to the gene seed flaws of their Primarch. However, in recent years, these flaws have begun to appear to an extreme degree within the chapter suggesting that any reprieve could be temporary at best or result in the flaws becoming completely exacerbated. The gene stock of Primaris Marines might also potentially be a way for the Sons of Sanguinius to avoid the Black Rage. This is due to the fact that Primaris gene seed boasts only a 0.001% chance of genetic deviation and mutation making it statistically likely that Blood Angel's Primaris Marines would not suffer from the Black Rage or the Red Thirst, at least in theory. Despite this, while the odds of it occurring are astronomically slim, there is always the chance that those Primaris descended from Sanguinius will still succumb to their inherent gene seed flaws. This isn't entirely unprecedented, as the 8th edition Space Wolves Codex has shown that Space Wolf Primaris Marines are still susceptible to the curse of the Vulfin, one of the genetic flaws found within the gene seed of Lehman Russ. During a battle against the Drukhari upon the world of Smelter's Heap, an Inceptor squad succumbed to the curse of the Vulfin and would launch themselves at a band of Drukhari witches using their weapons as makeshift bludgeons, though they were able to regain a measure of mental control following the aftermath of the conflict. While there have been no official instances of Blood Angel's Primaris Marines succumbing to the curse of Sanguinius, there have been allusions to it. The 8th edition Blood Angel's Codex mentions an event known as the Coven Incident. A Blood Angel's task force, led by the sanguinary priest Corbulo, assaults an Alpha Legion fortress upon the world of Coven. 
the Primaris Marines under Corbulo's command were documented to have become exceptionally violent and frenzied, literally tearing their foes limb from limb. Following the task force's return to Baal, Corbulo immediately sought an audience with Dante and was noted to have borne a look of deep concern. While genetic modification may have limited long-term success, there is another possible way to end the Black Rage, through synthesizing, in essence, an antidote. Corbulo has been noted to spend much of his time attempting to find a cure for the Curse of Sanguinius, and has even attempted to concoct specific remedies for them, such as with the Satrix Elixir, recovered from the Cryptus system, which was derived from a serum used by inhabitants of the system in order to stave off the madness caused by the radiation of their system star. But so far, the Sanguinary Priest has been unsuccessful in his attempts. But there is a potential type of chemical concoction which could very well be the key to ending the Black Rage. Within the novel Primogenitor, the chief apothecary of the Emperor's Children Legion, Fabius Bile, created a serum that was derived from the genetic essence of a blank, individuals born with a negative warp presence. Bile used this serum to inoculate his gland hounds from demonic predation, though the effects were temporary and the chemical was known to produce horrific side effects. Seeing as the Black Rage was caused by an inherent psychic backlash from the death cry of Sanguinius, leaving its imprint within the gene seed of the Blood Angels, then theoretically, a solution made to counteract psychic energies could potentially work, providing that the Sanguinary Priests are able to remove or at least minimize the probable side effects and maximize the length of time such a cure would last. However, as a side effect, a cure derived from the genetic makeup of psychic nulls could have detrimental effects to those more psychically sensitive battle brothers, or even outright kill them. There is a final and much darker method to curing the Black Rage within the Gene Sons of Sanguinius, turning to none other than the Ruinous Powers. The Chaos Gods have long taken an interest in the Sons of Sanguinius, and some have attempted to sway various chapters descended from the Blood Angel's Gene Seed to their cause. The Blood Drinkers, for example, are tormented by the greater demon of Zinch, Kairos Fateweaver, who promises that Zinch will cure the chapter of their curse in exchange for servitude. So far, however, the demon has been unsuccessful in swaying the Blood Drinkers to the Architect of Fate, as all the Blood Drinkers who Fate Weaver has tempted with his promises have refused. That being said, while curing the curse of their Primarch is an attractive offer, it seems highly unlikely that any Scion of the Angel will choose to cure their bodies at the cost of their souls. Regardless, it would seem that the Sons of Sanguinius will still retain their afflictions for many generations to come. What do you think? Leave a comment below, and thanks for watching.